Hey, welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us. Now, the medical and legal medical and legal practitioners are calling for strict legislation to regulate sperm sale and donation, as well as surrogacy. Those are cons their concerns about ethical breaches and exploitation as sperms become a major commodity at fast emerging fertility clinics without regulatory frameworks. Speakers at the first ever law, medicine and ethics conference in Ghana want serious attention to the issue. Ohime uh, Terry has sat through some of the presentation and has come through with this report. Advocates from the Ministry of Health, Ghana Medical Association and the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice, among others, are in attendance. Ekuya Sewa, a Japan of the KNUST Law Faculty, highlighted a flourishing sperm trade in Ghana in the absence of regulations. The only problem with these fertility clinics rising up in this country is that there are no laws or special legislations to regulate this area. Sadly, there are a lot of problems associated with this absence of legislation. Are that there is the exploitation and commercialization of one of the most valued and personal aspects of our society. Procreation is something that the Ghanaian society does not take lightly. And so if we, are if we are commercializing this aspect, then it means that eventually, if we don't regulate or control this, there is going to be the downplay of this kind of value that we place on this, that we place on procreation such that children would be seen as commodities that can be sold and then bought. And then also, it gives people or unscrupulous personalities the chance to abuse home, to abuse helpless people, especially women who are desperate of giving birth. Issues about how some women are lured as surrogates to carry pregnancy for would-be couples for financial gain also receive attention. Emphasis is on exploitation of surrogates. Dr. Ernesto Usudapa is head of commercial law at KNUST Law School. We have taken notice of the fact that we have what we call a regulatory vacuum concerning certain matters, particularly in the area of medical advances. Mention could be made of in vitro fertilization and also surrogacy connected to in vitro fertilization. We have witnessed the springing up of so many fertility clinics in our country. And occasionally when something untoward happens and we are fortunate to get the media bring it to the attention of the general public, it will be on the national agenda for discussion for a day or two or three. And then it will die down, no concrete uh, in initiative will be taken to respond to that so that it will not reoccur. That there's a complete vacuum, there's no law, no legal framework which govern these matters. The conference was organized by the Kwame Nkuma University of Science and Technology to discuss what experts describe as gray and problematic areas of healthcare. High Court Judge Justice Dr. Richmond Osefiri tells Joy News absence of laws on sperm say in Ghana means judges have to apply foreign laws related cases that come before them. You look up to foreign laws which may be of persuasive effect okay so that is how we tackle it the common law is also a source of law in Ghana so once there are no legislation tackling a particular issue in a country you can make use of a, a foreign law the common law but they are persuasive so the, the best way to go is for us to have our own legislation in relation to the topic so I think I, I support the idea of a legislative intervention. And From Kumasi, for Joy News, I'm Interior, reporting.